Okay, so Croatia is in a very tough economic situation, not the only one in the Union. Um, and the Union has uh, thoroughly reformed its economic government, so we have the economic semester. As far as I know, Croatia is going to take part in the European semester, although it, on a voluntary basis. How do you think this will have impact on the fiscal policies of the government? First of all, uh, what is important to note that Croatia has been conducting a regular economic dialogue with the European Commission, even in the context of the pre-accession. Um, you may recall that uh, various Croatian governments have in the past adopted the so-called pre-accession mm -hmm. economic program, so-called PEP, which has accompanied all the accession efforts, all the negotiation efforts in that context. Now, when we are at the point that uh, Croatia is about to become a full member on the 1st of July 2013, uh, we felt it was sensible to join the exercise called the European Semester, which is a novelty as such also for the member states. It has been legally in place for a while, but in practice only implemented as of 2011. Mm -hmm. And the point was to be part on an informal basis of this sort of ex ante control mm -hmm. and the accompanying of the economic and fiscal policies. Uh, we believe that this is a good message, first of all, to understand how the coordination of economic policies mm -hmm is happening today at the European level and also to be watchful about what measures to take in the context in the context of the crisis because the point is to conduct a sound economic policy and we feel that the European semester should help Croatia to go out of the crisis. But given that it is on a voluntary basis this does not oblige the government to do anything that is under the semester because it's really enhanced cooperation and coordination. Exactly. It is an enhanced economic dialogue. The recommendations which the Commission will normally put forward to other member states will be of a non-binding character for Croatia during the 2013, but it is a very good preparation for more formal inclusion in the European semester in the 2014. So I think it is a very good novelty. There were calls recently that the European semester will actually prevent the country from its independent fiscal policy, especially when the country is in such dire a situation. Do you believe that? Mm, no. I think that uh, it is, first of all, every uh, state in the European Union has a certain leverage of conducting its own economic policy. But the recent crises have shown that there is a need for stronger coordination stronger exchange of information and also control from the mm -hmm. in institutions of the European Union. So from that point of view, I think this can al only be helpful. Uh, what is needed uh, in our view is the stronger democratic legitimacy mm -hmm. of this exercise. The point is that the budgets on a national level should not be uh, let's say, agreed in advance between the executive and the commission and then simply served to the national parliament. But be made public. Exactly. We need, we need to make uh, a very sophisticated interaction between the authorities on a national level which actually adopt the key uh, law and that is the budget in any uh, European state and this uh, sort of pre communication that happens between the government and the commission. Seeing this, do you have any particular problem in mind? Is there a problem with uh, accountability with the budget right now, for example? Or well, at the moment, um, our party was very clear when the budget was on the agenda in autumn. Uh, we said that this budget, the way it was put forward by, by the government, will be very difficult to sustain the pressures uh, in practice. And already now, uh, we see the announcements of the government for its revision mm -hmm. uh, and therefore uh, it is important to be shrewd enough in advance not to come up with proposals which then simply cannot hold. Okay, and should they be consulted, uh, that revision, should it be consulted with the Commission? Uh, in view with the European semester, although on a voluntary basis? As I said, in the accession process the economic dialogue has taken place. It was not an unusual uh, practice that we consult the Commission. You also know that the Commission has produced a very comprehensive report on Croatia in October. They're, they are coming up with a final report on our commitments in the pre-accession context uh, in 
literally in a few weeks' time. And therefore, the, the dialogue which the government is currently uh, having with the, with the Commission, also including on the budget, is something which we consider a usual practice. A very important part of the European semester is the um, um, imbalances procedure. Mm -hmm. Do you think that Croatia um, should be included in it? And do you think, in which areas do you think there could be imbalances? Well, at this stage, uh, I do not see an automatic inclusion into the imbalances procedure. I think the point is to um, do all the efforts to simply find solution for going out of the crisis. Today there were some new reports um, by, the Euro by the European Commission on growth in yeah, Europe in general, on, on Croatia. So mm -hmm. the, the news, are unfortunately, are not uh, very uh, positive and not very gloomy. So mm, even the former government and the current government, they were all taking actions to alleviate the consequences of the crisis. And uh, we believe, for instance, that the uh, current account is currently balanced. There is almost a surplus in it. Also, there is uh, a pretty stabilized uh, foreign debt. So at this stage, I don't think this is something which is imminent. OK. Um, and in terms of the legislation which is related to the uh, economic government, uh, governance, is Croatia already in line with it? Is I think it ready to implement it? Well, as, as you are aware, any newcomer has to do uh, really a proper home, homework mm -hmm. in terms of the alignment with the Aki Communautaire. This has been an exercise that uh, Croatian governments, various in the past, have been conducted for about uh, almost 10 years. And uh, the legislation is in place. We are finalizing and fine-tuning some of the legislation which now needs to be put in accordance with those uh, regulations which will actually have a direct effect as of the 1st of July. So there will be a very intense uh, legislative exercise in the Croatian parliament in the remaining mm -hmm. four months. But as far as I know, the main pieces of legislation are certainly in place and especially in terms of using the European funds, in, in terms of uh, the one piece of legislation which I think is very important in this context is the law which will regulate the relationship between the Croatian government and the Croatian parliament on the European issues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is where, as I said before, the democratic legitimacy of our positions in the European context, in the Council, should be approved or in a way at least consulted, depending on which uh, policy we are, we are discussing uh, within the Croatian parliament. Is the European semester sufficiently discussed in the public domain? Do the people understand what this is? Well, I would say that the, the experts, the key people in the academic circles, key people, of course, in the government, in the national bank, in institutes, in academia, are aware, the key responsible people in political parties also. But whether the public in general is aware, I think there is still a, a lot of political pedagogy which needs to be done and it should be far more clearly explained uh, what the whole legal structure of the European semester is and what its uh, operational consequences are. So I think we can we can certainly improve the communication exercise on this part. Has Croatia considered the option of joining the fiscal compact? As far as I have understood, um, there is a uh, general interest that Croatia joins the fiscal compact. Uh, the previous government uh, of uh, Mrs. Kosor adopted the law on fiscal responsibility. Mm -hmm. So the logic of the fiscal compact is something that is already uh, one of the main lines, main guidelines of the Croatian policy, even of the current government, but also of the previous ones. So. I assume this is up to the initiative of the of the current position and the government, but my understanding is that there is a general interest to do it. When will this happen? I, I won't be in the position to tell you this today. But you don't know whether your party would support it because our party there has, must be has a our, about our it. party has always been very clear that uh, we want strong fiscal uh, responsibility and the uh, fiscal compact as one of the new legal instruments, uh, the whole treaty, the TSEG, is certainly uh, one of those mechanisms which will ensure, of course, greater discipline and uh, it should uh, be one of the elements helping the countries to come out of the crisis.